and a ride for voting rights as a bus caravan on a week-long journey rolled through Richmond. Alex Littlehales spoke to these men and women who are crossing the country, raising awareness about the fight for equality in voting rights. A different day, a different city. They call it the blackest bus in America, and Richmond, Virginia is Friday's destination. Even in your everyday life, right, if you, if you want somebody to go out on a date, go out to the movie, go out to dinner, right? Are they going to be more persuaded if, if you come to them, right? Or if you say, hey, I need you to come over here. The Freedom Ride left Jackson, Mississippi this Juneteenth, a growing caravan making its way through southern cities like Raleigh and just yesterday, Charleston, West Virginia. The fact that we need voting rights legislation to protect our right is the reason why we wanted to, that we started Black Voters Matter. We wanted to create an organization to help build independent black political power. Latasha Brown and Cliff Albright started Black Voters Matter in 2016. Through these modern day buses, they honor the original freedom riders of the civil rights era, activists who rode interstate buses from Washington, D.C. through the South. 60 years later, their message is still one of equality and justice, specifically fighting voter suppression through education, and access to voter registration resources. No longer to allow individuals to come into our community, control the economic of our community. They do not have our best interests at heart. Their approach isn't exactly the norm, they admit. They say it's what's needed for an issue as important as the right to vote. They don't get two big old black buses coming through their neighborhoods. They don't get a knock on their door. They don't get a phone call. They don't get a text message. You know, we've got this crazy notion that if you want people to actually turn out and get involved, that you gotta talk to them. Now, the Freedom Ride is expected to touch down in Washington, D.C. later today. All right, come